Hi everybody and welcome back to the Motor One channel where today I am thrilled to be one of the first people in the world outside of Volkswagen to get up close and personal with the ID Buzz. In fact, we're so early that the van is still wrapped in camo ahead of its debut in just a few weeks. So today I'm gonna to take you on a walk around tour, tell you all of the battery information and specs that we know. And we're even gonna take it on a quick drive, so stick around. Before we get started, let me remind you to please subscribe to the Moto One YouTube channel and help us grow and so we can continue making content just like this. You can also follow us on social media using the handle at MotorOne.com. I don't need to remind most of you that the first time we saw Volkswagen's electric microbus was in 2017 when we saw it in concept form. And when that came out, everybody loved it. It was fun, it was futuristic and retro all at the same time. And then some time went on and we started to see them on the road in development. Some of them were all white, some of them were wearing cameras and radar sensors with autonomous tech on them. And the more we kept seeing it, the people would wonder, where did that design go that we love so much when we first saw it? Fast forward to today, and I'm standing next to the production version. So the biggest question on my mind is, did they screw it up? You're gonna have to bear with me because this thing is obviously still wrapped in very, very loud rainbow camo. But even with that camo, we can still make out some of the details. And again, this is the first time we're seeing it up close and in person. First thing I'll point out is the wheelbase. This is what they're calling the short wheelbase, and we are not getting it in the US. The United States is gonna be getting a longer wheelbase, three row passenger version. But even with that, we're still gonna get the same general proportions. You can see that it's an extremely short front overhang, and that's gonna help with the tighter turning circle and sort of those old school Volkswagen bus proportions that we're used to from the old generations. Right here, you have a frunk opening. When you open this, there's not an actual space to put cargo and things. Uh, it's washer fluid and some hardware. There's also going to be the same lighting signature that you get on the ID4 in the US. So it'll trace around the headlights like you see here. And then these two versions in the middle light up as well. No word yet on whether or not Volkswagen is going to light up the giant VW logo in the US. But nevertheless, we love that it looks big and cool. And again, a lot of retro heritage going on there. Last thing down at the bottom, is this mesh pattern. Of course, it's covered in blue right now with the camo. When the production version comes, I think it'll be a dark color matching and it kind of reminds me of the Mark 8 GTI. It's neat to see some of the other Volkswagen products worked into this design as well. Side profile of the ID Buzz, the first thing I want to point out is this massive window on the side. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the interior just yet, but when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you get this big commanding driving position, and that includes a view to your left and to the right. It's a unique perspective that we don't get in a lot of modern cars, and that kind of goes along with this nice rake to the windshield too. It's, it's really interesting to see out the front, um, and I think that'll be a unique characteristic of this car. When this goes on sale in the US, they will have a two-tone paint option option available. So those of you diehard enthusiasts that want that old school look with your Volkswagen bus, you can option it in two-tone. You can also get up to 21 inch wheels. This right now is a prototype wheel. I believe they said this one is 20 inches, but they'll have plenty of different wheel designs again up to 21 inches in the US. Let's talk about charging and batteries for a second here. Now, a lot of this information is to come down the road. The one we're driving today is the standard battery and output. It's an 82 kilowatt hour battery pack or 77 kilowatt hour net, and it's gonna have 201 horsepower, 221 pound feet of torque. Those of you familiar with the ID4, you'll see that those specs are effectively the exact same as that car. And of course, that makes sense when you consider that the ID Buzz uses the exact same MEB platform. Now, today at this point in time, Volkswagen has made no claims of a bigger battery pack down the road. They also have not yet confirmed the dual motor all-wheel drive version. They also have hinted and winked and hinted and winked a bunch of different times today. So we can probably put the pieces together that down the road, the production ID Buzz will have a bigger battery pack on offer and probably some more horsepower as well. Range, we're not necessarily sure just yet. The ID4 in its best form right now does about 260 miles according to the EPA. Um, with this thing and its bigger size and its less aerodynamic shape, we can hopefully assume somewhere over 200, maybe about 220. But again, all that information is to come. Let's go to the charge port here because I walked up to this van and said, wow, that is a massive charge port. You can tell that it's just a regular plug right behind, so I'm not sure why they needed to take up this much real estate, but nevertheless, that's how it is. 
When this goes on sale in the US, it will have something called plug and charge capability. So that effectively means at an Electrify America station, you can take your van, take the cord, plug it right in and walk away. You don't need to take out your phone or get it charging sort of the old school, old fashioned way. All of the information will be passed between the van and the charging station immediately as soon as you plug it in. After a quick parking lot introduction and tech debrief, it was time to hit the streets. Forty-five minutes driving a priceless prototype on the wrong side of the road meant that I wasn't exactly feeling chatty in the moment. But here's what I gathered during my time driving the ID Buzz. Some might assume that the experience from behind the wheel is similar to the ID4, considering the shared platform and powertrain. But that's not the case. The first thing to note is just how unique the driving position is in the Buzz. Those huge side windows I pointed out earlier give an amazing view forward in conjunction with the tall windshield. It feels so different to most things on the road, and more special because of it. The van's acceleration felt strong, but never overwhelming. My favorite part was the passing power on the highway. It's easy to pick up your speed by 10 or 20 miles per hour, something that current van drivers probably aren't used to. Another big win for the Buzz was fantastic noise insulation. Even at highway speeds, the wind or road sounds never became too much. That's impressive for a vehicle still in prototype stage. It was just me and one other passenger throughout the drive, so I'd be curious to see how much a full house with seven people would affect the van's forward momentum. VW hasn't divulged the weight just yet, but this will not be a light vehicle by any means. With that being the case, the buzz is limited to a 90 mile per hour top speed to prevent rapid range depletion. Not really a problem for us in the States, but for our friends in Germany who like to go fast, I imagine there'll be some pushback on that. The ID Buzz won't go on sale in the US until 2023, so this is a very early first opportunity. There's a lot to like, but I think the van's success will ultimately depend on how much Volkswagen leans into the nostalgia factor. Americans love the VW Bus, but it will take some work to convert them into EV believers too.